Waiter! Sir, there's something wrong with my soup. Oh, I wouldn't say that, sir. It looks very smart to me. What? <laughs> nice pinstripe? No, 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 my soup. There's something wrong with my soup. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I thought you said suit. It, it, um, it tastes odd somehow. What does? My soup. Does it? Mm. Uh, may I, sir? Please do. Thank you. <laughs> Seems all right to me? No, no, my soup. My soup tastes odd. Oh, your soup? Yes. Oh, dear. Taste it. I just have, sir. <laughs> not my soup. I want you to try my soup. Oh, I'd rather not, if you don't mind, sir. Why not? It's probably too long in the arms. No, no, no. What's the matter with you? I'm talking about my soup. S-O-U-P. Oh, your soup? Yes. Oh, is there something wrong with it, sir? Well, I've told you, it tastes odd. Oh, well, may I, sir? Please. Thank you, sir. Ah, yes. Ah, yes what? It's the cyanide, sir. <laughs> I beg your pardon? A chef does occasionally, in my opinion, tend to overstress the cyanide in his potage. Are you telling me the chef has put cyanide in the soup? No, sir. He's put cyanide in the soup. <laughs> That's what I said. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I thought you said soup. <laughs> this is outrageous. Would you like me to bring you some soup without cyanide in it, sir? Yeah, no, I mean... I mean... Perhaps something else from the menu? Well, why? Why has the chef put cyanide in the soup? He has a club foot, sir. <laughs> what? The chef has a club foot. Well, I've got a bent nose, but I don't go around massacring perfectly innocent diners. Mm. <laughs> There's no cyanide in the mozzarella salad, sir. Oh, yippee. Just a hint of strychnine, but not so as you'd notice. Oh, this is absurd. You're right, it is. Completely ridiculous. <laughs> well, would you like to be a comedy writer? <laughs> <laughs> What's happened is that we've deliberately left this sketch without a tagging punchline. Or, or ending, as we call it in the trade. That's right. Now, that's where you come in. The lines are now open for you to phone in um, your payoff to this hilarious skitlet. Uh, but just as an added difficulty, uh, we're not actually going to give you the telephone number to ring. No, that's right. You have to use your skill and judgment to think up a witty, apt and amusing telephone number of your own. And if British Telecom think it's funny enough, they'll put you through to our switchboard here. Hello? <laughs> and we have a clear winner straight away, Mr. J.D. Ward of Basildon. Well, well done, J.D. Ward. If you'll be so kind as to let us know your chest size, we'll send you a, a bit of Fry and Laurie checkbook and pen straight away. <laughs> well, let's go back to where we were then. Right. Oh, this is absurd. You're right, it is completely ridiculous. Uh, the brown soup has no cyanide in it whatsoever, sir. The brown soup, eh? That's right, sir. No toxics, radioactive particles, or microbes of any description? Not a drop, sir. Well, I'll have some of that then. Right you are then, sir. Honestly. <laughs> nice one, J.D. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Hugh Laurie has 